What are you doing in here? Please, I got more water floating downstairs. I look for leak. Mr. Meskowitz, I told you, the leak isn't in here. It's in the pipe, in the hall. Well, it's not coming from the fridge. Maybe the damn pipe. No, 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 don't touch my things, please. I'll put them away. Maduze talent. Bardzo dobre artist. Mama say you good artist. Thanks. She have an eye for art, not me. I like it okay, but I don't think it's way for men to make a living. You really make a living with these. I told you, I teach. So, so, Benji. Hmm? What that gonna be? Look, could you please leave now? Dobre, artista. Dobre. And could you do something about the heat in this building? It's like a furnace in here. Better hot than cold. You're lucky. Heat works so good. The eyes are the most complicated part of the face to draw. Now, technically, uh, they're just two fleshy orbs located at about the halfway point at the skull. Oh, dear. I'm sorry. It all sounds so ghastly. <laughs> um, that's nothing, Louise. Wait till we get to the major arteries. Oh. <laughs> uh, OK, the eyes sit in the orbital cavity. They're protected by the brow ridge and the, the angle of the frontal bone. Now, to draw them, it, it takes more than just an understanding of the basic anatomy. Uh, you have to learn how to capture them, how to find their essence. What will give your drawings depth and, and resonance is your ability to dig into the layers of your subject. Hi, Nick. Soledad. All right, uh, let's move on to some sketches. Hey, boss. I have 15 minutes for the first sketch, so let's just try to concentrate on the basic proportions. <laughs> Actually, let's make it a half an hour. Nice, long study. So, some cabron. Come in. 
Hi, Nick. How's the new class coming? You scare them off yet? Uh, well, you know me, Bob. I like to make them feel safe first, then I let them have it. <laughs> well, just remember, they're here to have fun, not to become geniuses. God forbid. Uh, say, have you heard anything yet on my, uh, my contract? Mm-hmm. I'm afraid it's bad news, kid. We're done after this session. This session? I did everything I could. The classes have to be financially justifiable. That's just the name of the game. I can think of a few other names. I'll keep an eye out on another opening for you, okay? That's the most I can do. Looks like it. Hey, Nikito. I want to show you my new paintings. You want to come over? Uh, I'd love to, but not tonight. You have a better offer? <laughs> no, I've just got some work to do. But how about tomorrow? I don't know. Maybe I got some work to do tomorrow. Call me. I'll let you know when go. I don't understand. Can you talk English? What is it? I say English. Get fucked out. Get out of my way, you big ox. You get fucked out. You drunk. I call police. Hey, go ahead and call the police. I want them here. I want them to see the devil you are. You're a devil. You're crazy. Don't you call me crazy or you'll fucking regret it. I'm a good tenant. You can't throw a good tenant out of his home. Why don't the both of you just shove it up your ass? Hey, fuck you, you old witch. No. This my building. What I say goes. You know me, man. You're out. I told you I'll pay you tomorrow. You lie. You always make lies. I know lie. I know lie, you smug son of a bitch. Out. Out. Get out of here. What the fuck are you looking at? Do you want some of me too? Come on, motherfucker. You're not tough. You just drunk. Wait until police come. Let's see how tough you are, my friend. Ah, oh, suck my drunk dick. You better watch your back, motherfucker. You better watch the fucking shadows, you stupid Pollock. Get fuck out of my house. Out! 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 Fuck you! Time is spokui. Time is spokui. Get to this. Hi, uh, I live downstairs. Did Mr. Miskowitz, uh, the landlord, did, did he give you this room? See, there must be some mistake because, well, we have an understanding. See, I'm an artist and at night I, I work in my room. What's that got to do with me? Well, it's not you. It's the noise. You'll hear for yourself these walls are paper thin. Well, the landlord, he told me that he only used the top floor for storage. So what? 
You want me to move at two o'clock in the morning? No, I just wanted to let you know, that's all. I mean, before you got too settled in. I'm sure there are other rooms. See, you, you don't want to be up here anyway. Huh? His, his crazy old mother, you know, she keeps pigeons on the roof. She bangs around to all hours. Well, I am settled in. And I don't care if she's up there top dancing with combat boots on, but thanks for looking out for me. Look, look, I'm sorry to bother you, but, but I have an arrangement. You have an arrangement, huh? Well, why don't you arrange for your landlord to move you into one of those extra rooms? Good night. Stab wound to the right side of the neck, possible carotid hit. We got him ID to San Sidney Miskovich. He's the super of the building. His mother ruler. She's a female white in her 80s. She opened the door for the perp. She was knocked to the ground. She didn't really see him. EMS and the medical examiner here. Crime scene's on the way. And now uh, they're taking her to the hospital and we'll talk to her later. Get the call on. Get the call trying to figure out right now. Nick Parker. Nice to meet you, Nick. Mind if I ask you a couple questions? Uh, is it gonna take a long time because I really have to get to work? It's a routine, Bull. Don't take a minute. You okay? Yeah, sure. How old are you, Nick? 28. College graduate? Yeah. What do you do? I'm a drawing instructor. Oh, an artist, huh? 
long have you been in the building? About two years. But you're not from around here, are you? Broken Heights. Why are you living in this dorm? It's temporary, you know, while I redecorate my condo. <laughs> <laughs> I heard there was an argument last night between um, Sidney Miskowitz and uh, a tenant named Leonard Woolley. You hear any of that? Yeah, the whole building heard it. I, mean, I really don't know Woolley all that well, but uh, he's kind of crazy. He's always drunk. Want to tell me about it? Well, uh, Mr. Miskowitz uh, evicted him, and Woolley got very upset, and uh, he, he threatened him. I mean, Woolley did. Uh, it's hard to take that kind of talk seriously, you know. I, I guess I should have. How well did you know your landlord, Nick? Uh, Mr. Miskowitz was a very unfriendly guy. Uh, he played his music really loud. But I still don't, you know, I, it's, it's kind of hard to believe. Are there any other people that you know who uh, may have had a reason to hurt him? Uh, no, uh, to kill him, no. And Willie must have done it. Have you arrested him yet? I'm trying to locate him at present. Uh, I have a few questions for you in a few days. You mind if I uh, give you a call? Well, you have to yell really loud. I don't have a phone. No phone. I'm a little behind on my bills. Hmm. Life of an artist, huh? Yeah. Hey! I know I'm late. Yeah, there's something else. Your sister Charlotte phoned. She wants to see you. You better get in there, Nick. Take it easy, Bob. They're not paying by the hour. Pretty good, Eric, but it's very clinical. You need to pay attention to the detail of his posture. Look, this ligament is flexed. This one is relaxed. I mean, think about, think about how he's sitting. Why is he sitting that way? You, you need to use your imagination. All right, man. Don't read me the riot act. That's good, B. No, it is not. No, it's an improvement. Just, uh, remember, put everything in a box first. That way you get your proportions right. Under the weather today. I'm sorry, Jimmy. to fit in with all these paintings. Uh, yeah, well, get $900,000 for this dog shit. You want to get started? No. Wait till it's all in. When did you become the big cheese around here? Well, if you had a phone, you'd have been the first to know. Crotch the old bastard finally promoted me. Are you sure? It's 
just a flute, Doc. Want to share some of that flute? Hmm. As indestructible as ever. <laughs> as alcoholic as ever. <laughs> <laughs> We got a call from a policeman. Wanted to talk to you about some case. I asked him what it was all about. He said you knew. Someone named Glass? It's got nothing to do with me. There was a fight and uh, I saw it happen. It's really not a big deal. Are you happy? I hate that question. What about your painting? It's going good. No bites yet, but something will come along. You would tell me if you were having some kind of problem, wouldn't you? For Christ's sake, Charlie, has Dad been filling your head with a psycho babble? Oh, Nick, it's really awful to have a family that cares about you. You know, everything's going fine, so... Do me a favor, tell everybody to chill out. Just because I got my phone disconnected doesn't mean I got one leg out the window. You know? You know that? Stop it. You? Quit it. Fine, smart ass. You feel so good. Why don't you come downstairs and help me out? Sure was terrible what happened today, wasn't it? Yeah, sure was. I'm Nick. Parker. Yeah, I saw her on the mailbox. I will. D do you know if they... if they got Leonard Woolley, that guy they were looking for? No. Not yet. They've got a couple of guys camped outside. They think they're hiding. I didn't see them. I guess they'll catch him if he comes back. The old guy? Yeah, they'll get him. He didn't kill nobody, though. What do you mean? Well, it's obvious, yeah. I mean, they say the landlord was all fucked up when they found him. I mean, he may have been sick, but he was a big guy. Somebody punched a sizable hole into that son of a bitch. There's a big ass muscle here by the jugular vein. Platysma. Yeah, whatever. Well, it was shredded clean through. You really think a feeble old leprechaun liquored up to the eyeballs could inflict that kind of damage? Well, I guess I see your point. Well, let's hope you're wrong. I'm not wrong. Did you tell the police all this? Sure. Oh, I told them, yeah. They're too stupid to do anything about it. <laughs> Pleasant dreams.
What's wrong with you? A nightmare. I must have sleepwalked. Are you fucking kidding me? Some water? Sure. to look completely crazy. You do that regularly or what? Not for a long time. You ought to be careful what you're doing, especially around here. You ought to have yourself some protection. Vintage. SS. My granddad personally removed this from one of those Teutonic motherfuckers. Take a look. I don't like knives. It's not a knife. It's a work of art. The forging of that steel marks the beginning of the end. September 1st, 1939. That date ring any bells? No, not exactly. Of course it doesn't. That's when Poland was invaded by the crowds. Nothing much else happened. Except the whole planet went to war. A large and troublesome section of the population were removed. The power barons moved in, created a new world order. Hitler may be dead, my friend but he's laughing his ass off from the grave. He promised us a thousand years of Nazi rule, and that's just what we're gonna get. Well, the whole Nazi thing is pretty heavy. I guess I better be getting back to my room now. Sure. Nobody wants to talk about the real deal. I understand. No, that, that's not it. I'm just not feeling right. Not after what happened today. You know, don't lose any sleep over the slum lord. The world's better off without him. Thanks for the water and everything. Be around.
What the fuck happened to you last night? You were supposed to call me. What? Sorry. Look, if you don't want to see me, just let me know. No, no, it's, uh, it's just... Uh... Coño, Nick. You look like hell. What, are you stupid? You shouldn't be here. Don't, don't be angry. It's, I'm, I'm sorry about last night. I, I was looking forward to it. It's okay. The line of the neck isn't really a line at all, but the movement of the mastoideus muscle, which starts behind the ear and ends at the sternum and interclavicle. Any questions? Really? Okay, hey. let's move on. You didn't throw anything. I really think you should go home now. Sorry, I, I'm, I'm not really well right now. It's all right. I won't get too close. You want coffee or anything? Just some water. What is it? A couple of questions is all. I just had a very frustrating uh, evening with Rula Miskowitz. And she moved right back into her apartment after everything that's happened. She's a very weird lady. She don't like to talk much either, especially to an opki. That's Polish for a uh, total stranger, which in her book counts as anybody but the immediate family, especially cops. How about you? Now a little time's going by, you still don't remember hearing anything funny after the argument that night? Seeing anything? No, just what I told you. Yeah, I know you told me, uh, but you know, it seems like everybody in this building's got amnesia. Now, Rula, she doesn't remember anything either. So the mind's all jumbled, she says. All happened so fast, it was in the dark, she says. But there's one thing that she's pretty sure about. And that is, is that she bumped into you late that night. What? That's what she's saying. You ain't holding out on me, are you, Nick? No. I, I, honest to God, I mean, that's crazy. She must be all mixed up. I didn't see her late that night. I saw her earlier. When, when Wooly was thrown out, she, uh, she was watching. That's right, yeah, that's another thing I wanted to talk. I don't recall you telling me that last time I was here, did you? No, but I must have forgotten. I mean, it was also shocking. I didn't hide anything on purpose. I didn't say that you were. I'm just trying to figure out who saw what, that's all. You say you saw a ruler early. She says she saw you late. Seems to me like everybody's kind of mixed up. She could have been talking about that guy upstairs, Will. He moved in late that night. Who? Will, I don't, I don't know his last name. He's Scottish or Irish or something. On the top floor. I have no record of nobody living up there. 
His room's right above mine. You want to show me? Sure. It's one of yours? It's my mother's. Runs in the family, huh? Oh, he might not be in. This is the room? <laughs> not feeling too good, huh? Okay, then. I'll leave you to it. How'd you know it was me? The butcher of Greenpoint doesn't knock. You just get in? Uh-huh. There's a detective who wants to speak to you. And you ever read about these motherfuckers? The Gnostics? It's incredible. You know, since before Christianity, there's been this sect. And these guys believe that the material world is infested with evil forces, religion, and science, politicians, priests, the works. Christ himself was tied up with these guys. But they've always been suppressed. Jailed, killed, anything. As long as it stopped them from spreading the truth. They're like a total threat to everything. Can you imagine somebody blowing the whistle on the whole rotten setup? I mean, it would rock people's cozy little worlds, wouldn't it? I guess if you believe all that crap. Okay. They've got you right where they want you, pal. Will, you told me you spoke to the police, didn't you? Did I? Yes. You gave them your little theory about Leonard Woolley. Maybe. Who cares? Well, did you or didn't you? No, I fucking didn't. You the one who put the cop onto me? Rula said something that she saw a young man in the hallway the night of the murder. I, I thought maybe it was you. So they're looking for somebody to pin it on. I suppose I'm as good as anybody, right? It's not about that, Will. They're just looking for witnesses. They want to ask a few routine questions. Routine questions? There's no such thing. And you bring them to my door. Mr. Fucking Helpful. Because of you, they think I'm a lunatic. Now, you lied to me. I want to know why. Do you think that I killed the landlord? Is that what you're getting at? You're a piece of work, man. I'm not accusing anybody of anything. I just want to know why you didn't tell me the truth. The truth? 
What the fuck do you know about the truth? Let me tell you something, my friend. I work on a cargo ship. I'm like a janitor at sea. It might not be much of a life, but it's all the life that I want. Now, I might owe some back taxes. And maybe I even done a few things that aren't exactly kosher with the power of fucking almighty elite. But as far as these goose-stepping lackeys are concerned, I don't exist. And that's exactly the way I want it. Well, that's true. What are you doing in Greenpoint? <laughs> I've got an uncle in Duluth. He knew the Miskovitzes. Always wanted to come to New York. Thought I'd hang out for a while. Satisfied. Little Nancy Drew. All I can say, Will, is you, you're one really whacked out guy. You looked in the mirror recently. Guess the wedding's off then, huh? Yeah, whatever, man. Hey. I want you to have this. Token of my good intentions.
Yeah, I'm here. You right there. Hey. Nikki, fuck. Taking care of yourself at all? Oh my god. So Ladad sounded the alarm bells, huh? I brought you some soup. So why didn't you tell me about the murder? I didn't want to upset anybody. I heard all about it from your downstairs neighbor, Louisa. And they caught that old man. He confessed. Will he confess? Oh, I thought I was dreaming. God damn it, Nick. What is going on with you? What's going on with me? In about three months, I'll be out of a job. Can't get arrested with my art. That's about it. Why don't you talk about any of it? We're your family. We're here for you. Oh, Christ. It's Dad's birthday tomorrow. And we're having dinner at the house. Why don't you come? Make everybody feel better. Oh, okay, Charlotte. I guess it'll prove once and for all I'm not some crazy hermit. I don't think so. Give me that. Beautiful woman in here. It was my sister, Will. You should have a sister like that. I wouldn't have left home. What is it? Oh, am I disturbing you? Oh, someone's buying you on your door for a change. I gotta go. I just, I, I just wait a sec. Just wanted to say something. Just goodbye. Got word we're pulling out early, so I just wanted to say goodbye. Well, goodbye, Will. So much for New York, huh? Did you hear they caught Willie? And he confessed. Turned out that he was the butcher of Greenpoint. It's bullshit. He was fried when the cops picked him up. Oh, well, goodbye then. Listen, I just want to say. Don't be upset. I had my ear to the door while you were talking to Charlotte. That's her name, right? What are you talking about? Kind of nosy guy. I saw someone come in. I was surprised to see somebody visiting you, especially somebody who looks like that. I'm a little drunk. No big deal, right? I wouldn't have mentioned it. I felt guilty. You see, I'm an honest guy at heart. I'm not listening to this crap. Listen, don't walk away from me. This is important. Don't let those motherfuckers try to fix you. Because that's what they'll try and do. They'll try and make you all better. See, then they can say, Parker, he was having a hard time, but he's just fine now. But you won't be fine. You'll be weak and soulless like them. Just don't do that to yourself. <laughs> Well, thanks for trying to save me from the fiery pit, Will. Listen, don't patronize me. I'm not that stupid. 
You're not that smart. It's just a little friendly advice. You take it or leave it. Goodbye. Good luck. She's been cooking for hours. I, I, I've been cooking in that garlic salmon dish you love so much. I, I hope you're hungry. Gosh, Nick, you look awful. You know you didn't have to cut. Oh, it's okay. I, I feel much better today. Well, come in, weirdo. We're not going to bite you. Is that wine open yet? <laughs> you guys are growing up in incredible times. The things they're discovering, like DNA, are absolutely extraordinary. I think they're going to change our world completely. It's pretty radical. Yeah. Well, what do you think about all these advances, Mrs. Parker? Do you think they're going to affect your work with disabled kids? Well, to hear Richard tell it, my job is going to be a thing of the past. Obsolete very soon, right, darling? My job, too, Eleanor. What makes you think that, Dad? Well, it's early times yet, but I'll bet you that soon we'll be able to change our makeup by altering genes, replacing brain cells. We'll be able to heal people, fix their problems, adjust their disorders, essentially just by flipping a genetic switch. That's ridiculous. Oh, I'm with you, Charlotte. Well, it's better than trying to plow through dusty old Freud. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Did you get rid of mom's paintings? We didn't get rid of the paintings, Nick. They're in storage. We just redecorated, that's all. <laughs> Come on, Dad. You're ashamed because you let her die. Now you're just pretending that she didn't even exist. That's an awful thing to say, Nick. It's the truth. It's about time someone started telling the truth in this house. Calm down, Nicholas. You're not yourself. It's a murder, Dick, and all, and his illness, and... Actually, I feel fine. And that has nothing to do with it. Well, it could have something to do with it, Nick. Look, your mother's just trying to give you the benefit of the... Enough! Death. Fucking shut up about it!
sorry. Dad's right. I'm not myself. Excuse me for a minute. I'll be right back.
Your face, it was calm, but you pushed her, man. And why did you do it if you didn't kill Sydney too, huh? You knew the old lady was gonna finger you one of these days, somewhere in that fucked up mind of yours. You knew that. That doesn't make any sense. You killed the man, you did it. Shut up! Face it, shut up! Fuck you! With us. I I got lost. He's cooked. Oh shit, he's cooked. Why don't you come over here and give me a hand? Not here. Not here. This is where you live, ain't it? Yes, yes it is. Then why don't you come out of the car, Nick? I'm scared. There's nothing to be afraid of. Come on. We found him. He's not hurt. Oh, thank God. Sure, sis. I'm all right. Welcome back to the land of the living. How long have I been asleep? Three days. You were really sick, Nicholas. Your temperature went up to 105 at one point. Dr. Lipschutz was impressed. Did anybody call the class? Yeah. Charlotte took care of it. She's been very worried about your state of mind. Frankly, so have I. Eleanor's making you a meal. 
she's been very busy taking care of you. We all have. Ben Winkle's awake. Come on in. Just shut that door. So how are you feeling? Oh, I'm gonna have the shit kicked out of me. Well, you should know. You've been doing the kicking. What happened that night? We attempted to have dinner. You said some pretty nasty things, and you took off without a word. And after that? The police found you wandering around in a stupor. I brought you home. They told me about that old lady's accident. Figured maybe the shock pushed you over the edge. You can stay here in your old room, as long as you want. Yeah, I might do that. Yeah. I brought you some things from your apartment. If there's anything else you need, let me know. Maybe if I came back, I could get it out of my head. Good. Say goodbye. Catching a cab into the city. You want me to drop you off at the house? No, I'll take the train. Don't be a stranger, huh? Oh. Call me, even if you got nothing to say. I will. Somebody here to see you, uh, a detective. He, he says you know each other. I'll send him away if you don't feel up to it. No, I'll, I'll see him. Are you sure? Okay. Hello, Nick. Sorry to bother you at home. Oh, it's all right. Oh, 
uh, uh, I'll be in my study if you need me for anything. Nice. How you feeling? I, I feel good. Yeah. I, I guess it uh, kind of got around. <laughs> I'm afraid so. I had a fever like that once. I thought I saw baby Jesus in my meatball sandwich. Seems kind of like a bad dream now. I was real enough, all right. Believe me. Except for that guy you was uh, talking about, that uh, Will character. I never had a peep out of him. Well, he moved out. Uh, I, I don't remember him saying anything about s seeing something that night, though. I mean, he... Uh... He was a strange guy. I don't doubt it. But if he was living up there, it's not a sign of him. And all rule is she can't help me out in that one now, uh, can she? Well, all I know about him is that uh, I think he worked on a, a cargo ship uh, as a deckhand, something like that. A cargo ship? Hmm. Why, do you suspect him of something? No, nothing like that. It's just I'm about to put an old man away for the rest of his life. Kind of owe it to him to tie up all the loose ends, you know? Of course. He didn't mention where he was going, what port he was leaving out of, what vessel he was working on. I really can't remember him saying anything like that, but, you know, like I said, he was, he was a very weird guy. Don't worry about it. I mean, I know you're not feeling so good anyway. A few days from now, you know, you may remember something. If I remember anything at all, I'll be sure to give you a call. Appreciate it. Take it easy, all right? Hey, your mom, she's, uh, she's real worried about you. Oh, well, she had her way. I'd never leave the house. <laughs> Nick, you're lucky you got somebody looking after you. Enjoy that. Why you can. I'm glad you're back, Nick. And I told your boss he was a horse's ass to drop this course. <laughs> Thanks, Louise. You give him hell. Hey, don't go anywhere, cabron. Tonight you're mine. Job line up? Charlotte's gallery is looking for someone to do some record keeping. The pay isn't terrible. You mean that gallery of town? <laughs> you wouldn't last five minutes working for a bunch of bourgeois snobs. Yeah, I'll be okay. Keep telling yourself, Nick. Yo, Larry! When did you stop working Brooklyn South? Nick, are you okay? Back up. 